Hi, this is Dr. Ramin Tayani from the Tayani Institute, ophthalmologist and oculoplastic surgeon. Today we're going to talk about the cataract surgery and the before and after care of it. So with any surgery, uh, we typically want to have the patient stop any blood thinners. With cataract surgery, the same. If you're on a aspirin, two weeks prior, you stop the aspirin. If you're on something like Coumadin or Warfarin, it's anywhere between three to five days before surgery that you stop taking those. Having said that, in some cases, if, you're, it's a, if it's more important to stay on those medications, we can work around it because cataract surgery is a surgery that does not encounter blood vessels. So we can actually have the surgery done without stopping it. Fast forward to two days before surgery. Uh, two days before surgery, we actually start you on two different medications uh, that are used prior to surgery. On the day of surgery, you will start a third drop, drop, which we'll get into in just a minute. The night before surgery, we typically ask patients to stop eating or drinking anything after midnight the night before surgery. So if your surgery is on a Thursday, Wednesday night, midnight is the last time you would have anything to eat or drink until your surgery time. The exception is if you're taking any blood pressure medications, I want you to take your blood pressure medication with a sip of water on the day of surgery. All other medications can be held until after surgery. You'll arrive to the surgery center an hour before your surgical time. At that time, the anesthesiologist will meet you, our nursing staff will meet you. You'll get an IV place so we have mild sedation for the 10 to 15 minute cataract surgery. The surgery is done with you awake. You will follow instructions. I will be talking to you throughout the surgery, tell, explaining to you what we're doing and how the process is going. There's minimal to no pain during surgery. There's minimal to no pain after surgery. Surgery takes about 50, 10 to 15 minutes to do. A shield is put onto the eye after the surgery, which you can see through. That shield stays on for four hours, after which you take off the shield, you will start drops. The same two drops you started two days before surgery, plus a third medication, which is a steroid. The three drops are a pink top, which is a steroid, which you start on the day of surgery, after surgery. The other two, the tan top is an antibiotic. You start two days before and continue for a week after. And there's a gray top, which is an anti-inflammatory, which you start two days before surgery and continue for a week to 30 days after surgery. Details of how often and how long these drops are to be used will be reviewed with you with the surgery coordinator. At night, um, for the first five nights or any time you sleep throughout the day, the shield that you were wearing after surgery needs to be put on to protect the eye from any trauma. During the post-operative care, you want to avoid any makeup, any sunscreen, and water for 24 hours. After 24 hours, you can shower normally. The makeup and sunscreen, we recommend waiting three days to five. And as far as any kind of exertion, we want you to be not exerting yourself, not to raise your heart rate, rate for seven to 10 days after surgery. You can resume normal activities of daily living, driving, walking, all of those things immediately. Uh, driving, I'm sorry, should be well held till the day after because of the anesthesia, not the vision. So due to anesthesia, you wanna wait 24 hours before you start driving. So if you have to have both eyes done, typically we wait anywhere between two to four weeks to have the second eye done. Other than that, this completes the, the post-operative care of cataract surgery. If there's any decrease in vision, redness, or pain, you must call your surgeon immediately. Those could be signs of an infection brewing. So that's very uh, critical for us to know. Again, this is Ramin Tayani from the Tayani Institute. Till next time.